Why was Ten Hag right even when Mew lost to Arsenal? Man United lost to Arsenal and slipped on the championship race, but the fact that the Reds were in the championship race was already a miracle for Ten Hag. The Dutch strategist is really doing his job very well. Hopes of fair competition for the Premier League title suddenly lit up at Old Trafford after Mew beat Man City. If you win all six points against Palace and Arsenal, the gap between Mew and the Gunners will only be three points. But the truth is that Mew only won one-sixth of that point and quickly returned to the ground. However, those are two matches where Mew played well and only lost points in the last minutes. Failure at Emirates shows that the level of the Red Devils is not too far from the top of the table. So think of this loss in a positive light, right? No. Ten Hag doesn't think so. He openly criticized Mew's mistakes in the three goals conceded and demanded a complete mental change if he wanted to reach the level of competition with Arsenal. Once again, Ten Hag reiterated the very high standards he set at Mew. Like Case Miro recently shared, Ten Hag is obsessed with winning. Talking about morale, Ten Hag said, with coaching we can change. We've all seen how the players' morale has improved over the past few months but there's still a long way to go. Highest peak. And this is why Mew is determined to bring Ten Hag back. The problem will not be solved by just buying people, but having to improve existing people. Mew really lacked the top coaching methods under Salskjer and Rangnick, but this is Ten Hag's strongest point. If Mourinho or Conti's team is criticized mentally, they will urge the board to buy more people, instead of finding solutions inside the dressing room. But developing inner resources is what Ten Hag is all about. And really, it's been a long time since what goes on at Carrington every day is as important as it is at Old Trafford every weekend. Growing up from the famous Ajax Academy, Ten Hag understands what it takes to develop a team. Mew has spent £225 million on the transfer market this season, Antony alone has £85 million. Ten Hag has not exploited Antony's full potential, how can he ask for more? So the solution is always the hard work of both teachers and students on the training ground. Only by working many times harder than the opponents can we close the gap in level with them. This basic ideal has not been practiced for a long time at Old Trafford but is now a guiding principle under Ten Hag. Ten Hag himself said that Mew has not yet succeeded because it has not won any titles. But it's been a long time since the Red Devils were so united with everyone seeing that the team was on the right track. Up to this point, Ten Hag has been right and deserves more time.